Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. An image map is a picture that is used to link to several different pages without the need for text hyperlinks. The clickable areas in an image map are called hotspots. When you click a hotspot in a graphic, you will be taken to the page that the hotspot is linked to. For example, you might have an image of a person posing with your winter line of clothing. You could create hotspots over the coat, hat, gloves, boots, and pants of the person, each of these leading to a different page that presents the items of the type they clicked. Hotspots are invisible to the user, so you should clearly mark them or include some text that tells visitors to click the part of the picture that they want to see more information on. There is a small visual clue that an image contains hotspots, though, because when a visitor rolls their mouse pointer over one, the pointer turns into a small pointing hand, just like with text links. You can start an image map by simply inserting the image that you want to use as the map. Then, you'll need to display the Pictures toolbar. To do this, click View in the menu bar, roll over toolbars, and then click Pictures. There are three shapes of hotspots that you can place on an image map. Rectangular, Circular, and Polygonal. To create a hotspot, select the type of hotspot that you want to draw in the Pictures toolbar and then click and drag over the area in your image that you want the hotspot to cover. The best place to start, however, depends on the hotspot type that you select. If you select a rectangular hotspot, then click and drag from the top left corner of the area to the lower right corner of the area that you want the hotspot to cover. With a circular hotspot, click in the center of the area you want the hotspot to cover and click out from there. With a polygonal hotspot, you don't actually drag at all. Simply click the first point of the hotspot, move your mouse to a new location, and click again. Simply repeat this process until your hotspot makes it all the way around back to the beginning point. Be sure to actually make your last click right on the beginning point of the hotspot trail. Once you create a hotspot, the hyperlink dialog box will automatically open where you simply need to select the page that you want to hyperlink to. If you'd like, you can set a target frame. Otherwise, when you're finished, click OK. Now let's take a look at the preview of this page so we can see that the hotspot does not show up in the online version. However, if I roll my mouse over the hotspot, it changes from a pointer to the small hand. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.